Some of you may or may not know that Boss actually offers dolly wheel kits for their blades. These dolly wheel kits are great to apply to your blades so that you can move them around from your storage department. Uh, if you have a tight service area, these are great for actually getting them into different work areas for your garage. But in today's video, what we're going to talk about is how you simply install these. It's not very difficult at all. Uh, we actually have three kits of dolly wheels. Um, the ones that we're going to be showing you in this video are going to be for our straight blade and for our V-blade. Part numbers are at the bottom of the screen for each of these kits. But we do also have a dolly wheel kit for the UTV blades, the V-blade itself. Now to do this, like I said, you don't need a whole lot of tools. But I do want to stress getting some jack stands or a similar blocking device because what we're going to be doing is working under the suspended weight of this plow. And I want you to think safe, all right? I want you to have something under that blade in the event that there's a failure, that blade doesn't land on you and come down. Let's get started and show you how these get installed. First, let's get the blade raised in the air. And as I mentioned, we're going to use our jack stands to put under the blade to support it and to act as a safety while that blade is raised. Because one of the wheels in the dolly wheel kit for the straight blades actually goes in the kickstand attachment, I'm going to simply remove the stock kickstand from the blade. Then, like I was saying with the wheel with the kickstand extension, I'm simply going to reinsert this where the old kickstand was. And we'll just start off with the second hole from the top. The other two wheels that come in the straight blade caster wheel kit are this uh, wheel system right here with a little bit smaller diameter wheel itself. Now it's going to come with a stack of washers just like a plow shoe would, which tells you this gets installed in the plow shoe bushing that's welded to the back of the blade. Now I will tell you, to get this through that bushing, take off three of these washers right away. Okay, they're going to come with more in the kit than you actually need for a straight blade. Then simply install the shoe bracket in the existing plow shoe bushing, install the D-ring, and you're done. Now that you've got all three dolly wheels installed on your straight blade plow, we have detached the plow from the truck and we're simply ready to roll this bad boy into storage. It's just like magic, the door opens in the garage just like everybody's garage does. And we're simply going to wheel this thing in, it doesn't take a lot of effort, it's easy. Like I was saying, you could use this for storage or your service departments. Now that we've showed you how to install the caster wheel kit onto a straight blade plow, Next step is we're going to show you how to install the caster wheel kit on a V-blade. It's not that different. With the exception of you're going to have a caster wheel that actually inserts into the bottom of the center section. You look and there's actually a, a bushing welded in place there. Now you're doing this under the suspended load of this blade, so I cannot stress enough. Use some jack stands. Put some blocking under this blade. You'd want to prevent any way that this thing can come down and crush you while you're doing this installation technique. So again, use some jack stands. So once you have everything jack standed up and you're safe, simply put the, get the D-ring in one hand insert the stud of this, the center caster wheel in the bottom bushing, simply reach your hand through the back side, lock the D-ring in place, and your center caster wheel is installed. Let's move out and put the caster wheels on the wings next. Next, with the other two wheels from the V-Blade caster wheel kit, you're gonna simply insert the stud of the caster wheel through the welded bushing in the end of each wing. Put the D-ring on, do the same thing on the other side. As with any of, the, any of the things that we've discussed in this video, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us on our tech service line. And if you have any questions, we'll be happy to help you. Have a good day and happy plowing.